a quick tip for Redshift. So in Redshift, we know that sometimes you don't always display the correct materials in the viewport here. So like you can see in the bottom left here, we're displaying the correct materials in the actual render, but we can't see it in the viewport. Now, sometimes it's just really um, helpful to have things showing up in the viewport just so we can work without relying on this. Now, one of the ways we can kind of force this is if we go into like our object level here, what we can do is we can apply a quick shade. So in the quick shade, you want to apply your material to this. And you can see here, we can apply it onto this model. Okay, but we have a bit of a problem because we can only either use the quick shade. So you can see with the quick shade added, it's changed the render. Now, what we want to do is we want to output the quick shade to the viewport, but then not to the render. So we can do this by using an attribute delete. So what that does, that removes this shop material path from the quick shade. Okay, and then we've got two nulls, one out shader, one out preview. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to activate the out shader. Okay, so we can do that here. And then if we right click on this side, go to flags, go to display. What it's going to do is going to output the shader directly to Redshift, but then preview this quick shade over here in the viewport as well. So we can have both working at the same time.